Did you know that Morocco is the only African country that is not a member of the African Union? Now that's a surprising start. Morocco, an intriguing country nestled on the northwestern tip of the African continent, boasts a rich tapestry of culture, history, and geographical allure. But here's a curveball for you. It's not part of the African Union, the continent's foremost political entity. This fact alone sets Morocco apart, cultivating an air of mystery and intrigue around its unique geopolitical stance. The story behind this unusual position is an intriguing blend of history and politics. Morocco was a founding member of the African Union's predecessor, the Organization of African Unity. However, in 1984, it decided to withdraw its membership. This decision was sparked by the OAU's recognition of the Sahrawi Arab Democratic Republic, a disputed territory claimed by both Morocco and the Polisario Front. This standoff ignited a decades-long political impasse, making Morocco the only country in Africa to stand outside the African Union's fold. It was not until 33 years later in 2017 that Morocco expressed its desire to rejoin the Union. Despite its return to the Union's General Assembly, Morocco's membership is still a matter of heated debate. This surprising fact about Morocco is a testament to the nation's distinct identity and resilient spirit. Despite being geographically in Africa, Morocco has charted its own path refusing to bow to political pressures and affirming its sovereignty over its territories. So, while Morocco is geographically in Africa, politically it's somewhat of an island unto itself. From the Sahara Desert to the snow-capped Atlas Mountains, Morocco is a country of contrasts. A land where the sun kisses the sands and the snow graces the peaks, all in the same panorama. Immerse yourself in the awe-inspiring landscapes of Morocco, a vibrant tapestry of diverse terrains that shape the country's unique cultural identity. From the golden dunes of the Sahara, where the silence is as profound as the desert is vast, to the rugged, rocky expanses of the Anti-Atlas Mountains, each region tells its own story. In the south, the Sahara Desert stretches out like an endless sea of sand, shimmering under the relentless sun. Here, the nomadic Berber tribes have learned to thrive amidst the harsh conditions, their lives intertwined with the ebb and flow of the desert. The Sahara is not just a barren wilderness, but a vibrant ecosystem, home to a variety of wildlife and plant species that have adapted to its harsh conditions. As we travel north, the arid desert gives way to the verdant valleys and rugged peaks of the Atlas Mountains. Rising like a majestic wall, they separate the coastal regions from the desert, their peaks often shrouded in snow. The Berber people who have inhabited these mountains for thousands of years have developed a rich culture and lifestyle deeply rooted in the land. Their terraced farms clinging to the mountainsides create a patchwork of green in stark contrast to the barren rock faces. In the coastal regions, the cool Atlantic breeze breathes life into lush forests and fertile plains. The contrast between the desert, mountains, and coast is not only geographical but also cultural. It has shaped the diversity of Moroccan society, with each region having its own unique traditions, dialects, and cuisine. Morocco is a land of extremes, where dichotomies coexist harmoniously. It is a place where you can traverse the heat of the desert and the chill of the mountains in a single day. A place where the ancient and the modern meet, where tradition and innovation are not opponents but companions. In Morocco, you can surf in the morning and ski in the afternoon. How's that for variety? Moroccan cuisine is a blend of Berber, Arab, French, and other Mediterranean cuisines. But did you know Morocco is home to the world's largest exporter of sardines? Truly, Moroccan cuisine is a feast for the senses. A vibrant tapestry of flavors, aromas, and textures that reflect the country's rich cultural heritage. Imagine a palette where Berber traditions meet Arab influences, where French savoir-faire dances with Mediterranean flair. That's Moroccan cuisine for you. It's a kaleidoscope of tastes and colors, where spices like saffron, cumin, and coriander play lead roles, and ingredients like olives, figs, and couscous support in harmony. But let's dive deeper into something you may not know. Morocco, with its extensive coastline that stretches from the Atlantic Ocean to the Mediterranean Sea, is the world's largest exporter of sardines. Yes, you heard it right. Those small, oily fish that are a staple in diets worldwide find their biggest source in this North African nation. 
Whether they're fresh, canned, or used in dishes, sardines are a significant part of Moroccan cuisine and economy. In Moroccan markets or souks, you'll find sardines aplenty, being sold fresh or showcased in a multitude of dishes. From the traditional sardines charmoula, where they're stuffed with a marinade of herbs and spices, to being grilled over open flames in street food stalls, sardines are a versatile and beloved ingredient in the Moroccan culinary scene. And it's not just about the flavor. Sardines are packed with nutrients, being an excellent source of omega-3 fatty acids, vitamins, and minerals. They contribute to a healthy diet, further solidifying their place in Moroccan cuisine and households worldwide. Morocco's role in the sardine industry is not just about numbers, it's a testament to the country's rich culinary culture, its sustainable fishing practices, and its contribution to global foodways. So, next time you enjoy a sardine, there's a good chance it came from Morocco. Tea in Morocco isn't just a drink, it's a way of life. But it's not just any tea, it's Moroccan mint tea. A symbol of hospitality, friendship, and tradition, this sweet, refreshing beverage holds a special place in the hearts of Moroccan people. In Morocco, the art of tea brewing is a craft passed down through generations. It begins with green tea, often imported from China, known as gunpowder, due to its explosive flavor. This is then combined with a generous handful of fresh spearmint leaves and a healthy dose of sugar. The result is a drink that is as fragrant as it is flavorful, a perfect balance of sweet and bitter notes. But the magic of Moroccan tea extends beyond its taste. The preparation of this tea is a ritual, a performance, if you will. The tea is traditionally brewed in a teapot known as a berad, which is often made of silver or other metals. The tea is then poured from a height into small ornate glasses, creating a frothy top layer. This act of pouring, known as pulling the tea, is a skill that takes years to master. Ever heard of Warzazadi? Probably not, but you've certainly seen it. This Moroccan city is known as the Hollywood of the desert. Nestled between the snow-capped Atlas Mountains and the sweeping Sahara, Warzazadi has carved a niche for itself in the world of cinema. Known for its dramatic landscapes and bright, consistent light, Uwar Zazate has been the backdrop for many blockbusters and critically acclaimed films. Its unique topography and architecture have allowed it to stand in for a multitude of places across different periods, from ancient Rome to mythical Westeros. There's a good chance that some of your favorite films or television shows were shot in this Moroccan Hollywood. Ever wondered where the epic battles of Game of Thrones took place? Or where Russell Crowe fought for his freedom in Gladiator? The answer is Warzazate. The city is home to Atlas Studios, one of the largest movie studios in the world. It's here that directors, actors, and film crews from around the globe gather to create cinematic magic. The city also boasts the Cinema Museum, a must-visit for film enthusiasts where you can explore film sets and props from movies past. Warzazate's significance to the film industry extends beyond mere aesthetics. It has provided jobs and boosted the local economy. It has put Morocco on the map in a way few other industries have, and it has shown the world the beauty and diversity of the Moroccan landscape. From Game of Thrones to Gladiator, Warzazate has hosted some of the biggest names in the industry. Morocco, a land of beauty, contrast, and surprises, truly is a star of the silver screen.